What's up everybody? So I just finished part one. It's titled The Judges Behaving Badly of Stephen Avery's letter he wrote to Wisconsin lawmakers in order to get help and to try and get a new trial. Uh, it's right before this video if you want to go check that one out. All of the pages to the letter I've posted on Twitter and Instagram, both at Allegedly a Show, if you want to go check them out for yourself, as well as I've posted a link in the description of this video, so you can go check that out as well. But Stephen Avery states he should have a new trial. The first part of the video was on the judges. He believes he should have had a... Manitowoc County judge, not a Sheboygan judge, and he was blaming his lawyers, Jerry Buting and Dean Strang, for ineffective of counsel. Now he's saying he should have had a new trial on all of the new evidence. The circuit court abused its discretion, dismissing Mr. Avery's second motion without addressing the five Brady claims raised in the motion, denying Mr. Avery's motion to supplement, which raised a sixth Brady claim, all of which deprived him of due process in violation of Wisconsin and the United States Constitution. Um, the standard of review, Brady violation regarding Mr. Ramlow, Brady violation regarding Mr. Randant, uh, Brady violation original flyover video taken on November 4th, 2005, violation of zipper voicemail, Brady violation of uh, Mrs. H-E-I-T-L, Brady violation of the Dassey Janda CD, Brady violation of the computer that Bobby Dassey was using, the new eyewitness from Thomas Sawinski, delivered papers to the Avery Selvage Yard in the early morning hours on November 5th, 2005. Prior to delivering the newspapers to the Avery Selvage Yard, he turned on to the Avery property and witnessed two individuals, a shirtless Bobby Dassey and an un unidentified older male, suspiciously pushing a dark blue RAV4 down Avery Road. Towards the junkyard, the RAV4 did not have its lights on. This came out about a year ago. Um, after Mr. Sawinski drove by, Bobby and the other individual and delivered the papers to the Avery mailbox, he turned around and drove back towards the exit. When he reached the RAV4, Bobby attempted to step in front of his car to block him from leaving the property. Mr. Sawinski was within five feet of Bobby and his headlights were on Bobby during the entire time. Mr. Sawinski swerved into a shallow ditch to escape Bobby and exit the property. After Mr. Swinsky learned that Teresa Hallbach's car was found later in the day on November 5th, he realized the significance of what he had observed and immediately contacted the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Office, spoke to a female officer reporting everything he had stated in his affidavit. This was the eighth Brady violation the state held. The Brady number seven of a violation of due process and destroying evidence when it returned the human bones to the Hallbach family in 2011 without giving notice to Mr. Avery or his counsel. Basically, they're stating, it goes on, but basically what they're stating is that the, the law was broken. There was a Brady violation when they returned the alleged bones of Teresa Hallbach to the Hallbach family in 2011 without notifying Avery or his counsel. The criminal justice system is broken and it has to be fixed. And this is the time to fix it and get it right because I'm a victim of a setup and it has to be fixed now. Signed, Stephen Avery, March 21st, 2022. So those are the reasons why Stephen Avery thinks he deserves a new trial. He wrote this letter asking for help from Wisconsin lawmakers. It's, it's impossible to say that he does not deserve a new trial. Just so many crazy, wrong things happened in this case to both Stephen and Brendan. And it's absolutely ridiculous that the state is refusing to see it, refusing to give him a new trial. If, let me know what you think of this letter. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you again soon.